Hey friends, today is the first day I actually go to the fabric store to purchase fabric on my own. First time ever. Stick around, see what happens. That's me. Yeah. I'm the lucky winner. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, with that, I need uh, seven yards. Okay. How much is that by the yard? Uh, it is on sale for $4.79, regular $7.99. Beautiful. All right. And this one, I don't know if it's a full ream. Is that the price there? It is on sale for $14.99. I love it. I'll take that whole thing actually. Okay. So just came out of the local fabric store. Big shocker. First time ever buying fabric. Not something I, I typically think about. Uh, but uh, this van build has got me thinking out of the box in terms of design and different things I want to do with the van. So uh, the carpet I had, I, I've been putting it in strategic areas and I'm continuing with that. I, I'm going to continue with that. And uh, as I was cutting things and, and measuring and, and you know putting it in the areas I want it first, I realized that the carpet itself is a little too dark. So with the small you know space I have in this, what I like to call a baby Ford Transit, it's called the Transit Connect, but I like to call it a baby Transit. So not a lot of space in here. So I'm thinking if I went all dark gray, it would, it would just kind of confine and enclose the space more than I want it to. So I've made a decision to come up with a, a lighter gray uh, outdoor fabric, which I think is going to be phenomenal. And then I bought some some polyester batting. It looks like cotton, but it's, it's, a, it's maybe about a quarter of an inch thick batting that I'm going to put underneath the fabric. So maybe give it a textured look and feel. So when you touch it, it'll be soft to the touch. Uh, I probably could have gone right straight to the wood with the fabric, but I'm not sure how that would look. I may, I may try it before I even put the batting on, but I think the batting's gonna re really give it a nice feel and a nice look too as well. So yeah, this is, uh, again, I love this because it's a learning experience. Uh, I got to the register and I'm thinking, you know, I, I, I was doing some calculations in my head, but I, I really didn't, I don't know. But yeah, I, I failed math when I was a kid. So uh, 150 bucks for, <laughs> just some some batting a few yards of some batting and some fabric so I was like wait wait what <laughs> at the register and uh, she's like yeah it can get spent expensive quick this is why I have this job this is my this is the job to support my habit I'm like well I hope my habit doesn't get that bad so hopefully this is all I need for for my build here and uh, yeah if I were to decide to do another build my goodness the costs are gonna really get out of hand course I don't have to do this but I just I don't know I, I just I, maybe it's my OCD or whatever but I I, I just I, I there's certain things I want and I just I just I have to make it happen so I'm very happy with the material I selected um, not happy with the price but hey that's the way it goes okay folks back at the garage storage space here and uh, back from the fabric store this is the current carpet, or the, the first choice of carpet that I purchased. It looked a little lighter uh, on the Amazon website. When I got it, it was dark. I mean, it looks even lighter through the camera here. When I'm looking at it with the naked eye, not through the camera, it almost looks black. And for me, it's just a little too dark to put in the entire van. I like it in strategic areas, and there's, there's little pops of, of light gray in there, which will contrast to, to this fabric right here, which is what I chose, which cost me uh, an arm and a leg. Uh, and it was, it was not on sale. I think it was like 30% off. So I'm, I'm happy for that, <laughs> that it didn't cost me the full price. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna go with this for most of the van in terms of the walls. And then in between, between the, the fabric here and the, um, the plywood that I'm gonna be putting on the walls is going to, be this this batting here which is about a quarter of an inch but again it's going to compress so it won't be fully a quarter quarter of an inch so i'm going to use that in between give it a nice little textured or padded look and it also i'm sure it's going to help with insulation and sound deadening as well in addition to what i already have in there so uh this thing's going to be over probably wow well, i just i i don't know if it's going to be over insulated but it's going to be nice 
and insulate it in here. All right, so now that I have the fabric and the, car and the, um, the batting for that as well, my next steps, of course, is to scribe out the walls. So it's gonna go on these two walls here, the driver's side and the passenger side, or the driver's side there and the passenger side here. It's gonna go on the full wall here. There's gonna be some areas that are gonna be, it, it, that I won't be able to go all the way to the edge. And those are the areas that I'm gonna put some, some carpet on, maybe an inch here, uh, all the way to from the, from the, the, the roof to the, the floor. I'm gonna put some, some of that gray carpet there. And I thought about gray carpeting the, the doors, both the, the side doors here and the rear doors, which are behind the camera. And I came to the conclusion that that's just, I, for me, it's, again, it's, it's gonna be dark. It's gonna, I think it's gonna look a little tacky. The beauty of this carpet is, and I just, I did this the other day. I didn't film it, but um, I, I was a hack <laughs> on putting this up. But the beauty of this carpet is, it's like Jesus. It hides a multitude of sins, man. This is some, some good stuff here. So I, I'm very happy with it. I just wish it was a little lighter. I searched the internet high and low and I couldn't find anything, you know, in a lighter gray carpet like the, you know, carpet, auto carpet in a lighter gray. On, on Amazon, as I said before, this looked a lot lighter than it did uh, on, on, a, on a picture or on the camera. But once I got it in the van, I thought, wow, it's, it's close to black with a little pops of light gray in there. Again, uh, once I put it down, it's like, okay, it's a little too dark for the entire van. So I'm happy with my solution that I have, even though it cost me an arm and a leg. And so what I've decided with not only doing the fabric on the walls, but I'm gonna do the fabric where I've insulated there in what would be the, the window on the sliding door. I'm gonna basically cut out a template for that and um, put the fabric over that and then do the same down there. I've already got the board cut out for that because that's what came with the van. I'm just gonna, Put the fabric over that with the batting in between the wood for that and uh and the fabric and i'm gonna do the same on the back doors here for that as well so it's gonna be just pops of 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 that that light gray uh outdoor fabric that i have in areas on the doors and in the full walls all right so i'm not sure if i'm gonna film i don't have a lot of battery well, i do have some battery in my phone but i don't, I don't know if i have enough to film the, uh, the little things I'm gonna do. So I'm probably just gonna skip that in terms of filming that. Again, right now I just, I, um, I have some, some caulking that I wanna put down in the corners here. And then uh, some spray foam in this wall here. And that's it.